just texted me, so his meeting is running a little over. So let's just get started with Adam. Well, Mia's texting me to try to get in. Mm, ignore it. This should be pretty quick. Okay. I sent everyone the budget sheets. I mean, well, everything looks back on track. I like where we are. The board will too. Any updates from the ground, Roger? Well, everything is smooth sailing for the most part. Hmm. Two of the women did get into a uh, drunken brawl, uh, but they signed the waiver, so we should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, this has been a uh, wild experience. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I hope you aren't having too much fun, Roger. Oh, no, me? Raj? Mm -mm. I have been miserable, all right? I just can't wait to get home and see my baby. Okay. Well, I saw some of the footage. Jordan is definitely making the most of it, but is it clear who Dale is going to pick? No, he won't tell me, but I did brief him on the outcomes like we suggested. My money is on Sage. Yes, mine too. I'm rooting for Cherry. Mm. Well, I told him to resist the urge of not picking anyone or this would be his last TV opportunity. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Uh, he just can't wait to get this over with and be home with Janelle. Well, true love wins. Okay, well, that's pretty much all I need to go over. Do you guys need anything else? Well, Roger, can you stay on for a second? I need to talk to you about something. So. Mia, yeah, we had a discussion and it's just not going to work out for the company for her to keep bombarding in meetings like this. I mean, this is my company now. I have big shoes to fill. It's just, you have to handle it. Well, I get it. Look, don't worry about Mia, all right? She just mad because she saw us in South Beach on Instagram. You was wearing that nice little bikini, standing next to Raj. <laughs> it's fine. She'll go away. All right? Well, South Beach was fun. Mm. But, I mean, that's just the point. I mean, will we ever be able to kind of have fun like that if she's always around? I feel like she's always going to be a cloud on our relationship. No, no. It's just because I'm away. All right? We're wrapping in a couple of days. I'll be back home. I'll make some reservations. We'll have a nice dinner. You know how Raj get down. <laughs> I'll handle it. Okay. I mean, I trust you. I don't trust her. But have I ever steered you wrong? Ever? Um, Think about it. I'm still thinking. <laughs> right. <That's laughs> <a good point. laughs> trust me, babe. I got it. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. You got it. I need you to take care of something for me. What? Alton. Alton. Oh. The brother that was just yelling at me on the, on the, oh. the last meeting. Oh, you mean Aaron? Oh, my Whatever God. Whatever his name is, he talking about pulling up to your house. I mean, I almost, you know, I got money. <laughs> I almost hopped on the PJ and pulled up on him. All right. So yeah. take care of that. <laughs> I will handle that. Right. Aaron's not a threat. Okay. Cool. Okay. We'll be good then, all right? We're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, uh, let me get going, but um, I will call you a little later, okay? Okay. All right, babe. Morgan, hey! Hey, Aunt P. Uh, is that the game on? Uh, I'm sorry. I know how Sunday autumn mornings are so sacred in your household. <laughs> no, seriously, it's fine. I would much rather look at my beautiful niece than at my team. Oh, they're just dropping the ball. I mean, they are literally dropping the ball. It's crazy. <laughs> Where is everyone? 
Uh, they went to this uh, kind of like a drive-by fall festival kind of thing. Ooh, that sounds like so much fun. Ugh. You know, I was so bummed that we weren't able to go to our annual Labor Day weekend in Big Bear. Like, I was crushed. I know. I know. But, you know, the CDC, they have recommendations against gatherings. And to be honest with you, this disease, well, you know, your great aunt Nancy. I know. Goodness. I just, I feel terrible that I wasn't able to make it back in time for her service. Oh, we all understood. You were, you were in Italy. She was just so proud of you. Yeah. She was, <laughs> I mean, she made me promise to make her life into a movie one day. So I gotta keep that promise. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be such a great one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just hate that I couldn't say goodbye, you know? I know, honey, but with the COVID restrictions, it was a really small, and very short gathering. It was very small. But you know, it seemed, it, it was still everything she wanted. I know, I saw photos and it looked beautiful, so. It was. Oh, hey, how's your job? Ah, oh my gosh, okay, I love it. Um, they just told me that they're gonna send me to DC in a few weeks to cover the elections. I'm so happy. Thank you so much again for introducing me to Jared. Oh, gosh. You know, I do meet a lot of people in my line of work. And, and sometimes they get pretty friendly, you know, when you get them or, well, in his case, save them millions in assets. <laughs> ah, tell me why I did not go to law school again. Oh, because you are a journalist and a great one. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, thanks, Aunt P. It kind of seems like your team is losing. I mean, look at you getting all worked up over there. You're the most competitive person I know. This is why you're a great lawyer, huh? Oh, are you kidding me? This is because of your mom. Neither one of us like to lose, and me, being the youngest, she absolutely hated losing to me. So she kept me on my toes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Goodness, I really miss her. Yeah, I know. I miss her too. I mean, she would be so proud of both of us. We were doing really well, you know? Maxwell, what up, brother? Yeah, all right, you got jokes. It's all jokes. You know, it's all jokes to be on that court. Hit you with that body like LeBron. <laughs> Man, what? Bro, wait till I get back home. Clearly you have amnesia. <laughs> me and Dale just smoked you and Drew like last month. All right, look, let me jog your memory, okay? I came down the lane, hit you with an in and out, banged it on you. <laughs> Come on now, um, L the barge. Don't do me like that. Chill, bang it on who? Here you go. Yo, you, first of all, y'all stuck me with, with. <laughs> yeah. Y'all stuck me with Drew, bro. Come on. Next time y'all come, I'm going to be all alone. And guess who's going to win? Yeah. I believe it when I see it. <laughs> nah, but what up, though? Guy, you know, I was just checking in on everything. Yeah, I haven't heard from Nicole in a few weeks, so I was uh, just calling. I feel you guys were busy filming over there. No, nah, man. We are actually wrapping up. I'll be home this weekend, so we'll definitely have to link. Uh, Nicole. Nope. She is not on the show. What? Don't tell me she got fired. Dude, that girl and her attendance, she did the same thing at Armstrong. I'm just saying, I just thought, like, with acting being her love, that she would, you know what I'm saying, show nah, up. Nah, bro. Mm -mm. She was a straight no-show. A no-show? Yeah. Just blew it off. <laughs> I mean, she was sending texts in the beginning with like hella excuses, so we had to find a replacement. Bro, I am so shocked right now. 
That doesn't sound anything like Nicole. Well, that's for her and her therapist to figure out, all right? <laughs> hey, but when you do talk to Nicole, tell her she blew it, all right? She's done. It's over finito, okay? Gonna blow off the Jameson agency? This sister has lost her mind, all right? Baby girl could have had the world. Now she'll never get an... Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. This is Mia calling me, bro. Let me, uh, let me hit you back. Hey, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, tell me I said to come holler at a real one. You know what I'm saying? Whenever, wherever, whatever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look, hey, tell Michelle I get off work at nine. So keep my side of the bed real warm and make sure she wear that dress, Big Daddy, like, all right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Right. <laughs> all right, though, bro. All right, man. Take it easy. Yeah. Dr. Monroe. Brother, please call me Wes. Nice to meet you, sir. Same here, man. Just on a quick break from work. How can I help you today? Uh, hey, thanks for meeting with me. Uh, I don't teach your daughter directly, mm -hmm. but I, I have read tons of her essays. And from what I hear, she put together some of my paperwork and my orientation folder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, she is something else, man, at Trinity. Yeah, well, the reason I'm reaching out today is because, as you know, the pandemic has made bad things worse in the hood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, and, and, and clearly no second stimulus anywhere in sight, man. But uh, it, it's kind of what happens when rich people make decisions for people they can hardly relate to. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm putting together a program. Mm -hmm. We need so many more mentors mm -hmm. uh, for some of the kids at the school that I just transferred from in South LA. Right. I'm still kind of in the idea phase, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to put together a committee. So far, I've got Janelle, mm -hmm. uh, Dana, Terrence, and they all said I needed to ask you. Uh, do you think that's something you'd be interested in doing? Uh Absolutely, bro. I, I'm, I'm crazy busy here at work, but trust me, I can figure it out. I was, I was going to say, and our youngest member of the committee is your trinity. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me one bit. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to get started next week. I'll send you the invite. Cool, man. Thanks. No doubt. Thank you. Be safe, bro. So, the only time you want anything to do with this agency is to cause drama. So Chelsea told you that we had words again? It's not just Chelsea. At this point, you are being extremely disruptive. You can't conduct business like this, Mia. You are stressing everyone out. Hold up, hold up. Who is everyone? And look, what you need to do is you need to check a little spy Kira, okay? Because she about to be at a job. You didn't hire her. Therefore, you cannot fire her. So stop it. I mean, what's really going on over there? Are you just bored and flexing? Wait, hold on a minute. Is Miss Mia feeling threatened? Whew. No one is threatened, okay? They stopped adding me to the emails and the meeting invitations. And when I asked about it, they told me to talk to you if I had an issue. And yes, I most definitely have an issue, Roger. You know what? If I can't fire her, I can certainly make everybody a lot less comfortable. You must be crazy if you think that you can keep disrespecting me, okay? It all starts from you. You don't respect me, Roger. And so your little concubines, they don't respect me either. It's not them. I made the decision to stop adding you, Mia. Yeah, me, Big Raj, all right? Let's have a moment of clarity here, okay? You bring nothing to the table, all right? You offer nothing productive. You don't show up half the time anyway. I mean, you don't care about this agency aside from cashing a check. Roger, whether I join or not is up to me. Okay? I'm a busy woman. Okay, but you and your little harem, 
y'all aren't going to cut me out. Not when there would be no Jameson agency without me. You know what? This is just stupid. This is pure stupidity. Okay? Look, if you want to call me and talk about our son and how you holding it down while I'm out here doing my thing, then baby, I am all ears. No, 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 no. Hear me. No, no, this is stupid. You're right about that. But what's stupid is that you act all big and bad talking all this talk about your agency when you hadn't done a... You I'm don't even interested. realize the effort that I put into making this what it is today. Mia, I'm talking, okay? When I talk, you don't. All right? <laughs> and I'm curious to know, what are you going to pretend to care about when production wraps in a couple of days? Hmm? Exactly. Why would I pretend to care about a business that I helped build when you had nothing? Okay. Was I pretending to care about your credit score when it was slightly lower than your mother's weight? Huh? What, what, what was it? What was it? Three, 350? 375? Put your 400? What, what is she now, actually? I'm curious. Hmm? You know what? That's why my mama can't stand your ass now. <laughs> Good. Because you know what? I can't stand her either. Well, Feelings she loves. Love. She loves her some Chelsea. Loves her. Oh, Please, please stop throwing your little relationship up in my face. Look, don't nobody care about you and Big Mama and how y'all use them boring Chelsea for them coins. Big Mama. Big Mama. <laughs> you know what? Lose my number, okay? Do not call my phone again. Mm. If you want to get in touch with Roger, you are to message Kira. <laughs> you know what? I'll do you one better. Call Toya. Call Toya. Yes. I, I mean, how old are we acting right now? Like, how old are we really? You you really want to talk through the lawyers now? That's how petty we're being? You ain't man enough to handle me and talk to me? Okay. Okay, Roger, but don't forget, I am a Jameson agency. Whether you talk to me or not. This is my business, okay? <laughs> this is it. Don't call me. I'm over with. It. It's over. Uh. Yeah. Um. So I got your number from the registration information. Okay. Can I? Help I I am DB you. So yeah. Wow. Well. I'm sure my work doesn't measure up to your expectations. Look, I noticed that you wasn't there on Friday, and I think you should come back and give it another shot. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of busy. You know what? Not even think about it. Don't even worry about it. Um, so either going to come to class this week. If not, you just got to forfeit your deposit, so be it. Um... But yeah, sorry, uh, I gotta go. Bye. Girl, so why just thought you just called me practically demanding that I come back to class? <laughs> like, what's, what's up with your mans? Get your boy. <laughs> what's going on? Girl, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I <laughs> He's a good coach, though. You know, but I know how you are about first impressions and all that, so. <laughs> I'm not that strict, okay? Look at my first impression of Dale. He basically took me on a joyride, so. And I I thank the Lord you came to your senses about that. But Josiah, <laughs> okay. why do y'all pay him? Like, why, why do you keep going back? Because, though? like, I don't know, underneath that, pompous attitude or whatever. I mean, he's a really effective coach. And I don't know, his resume doesn't lie. I mean, even his ex takes his class. And Ooh, gotta be. So that has to mean something, right? His ex? <laughs> Who was his ex? Was I in there? Him and Kira used to date, okay? Stop lying. Girl, that was some... 
piping hot tea served up, okay? <laughs> I can imagine. Kira? Sweet Kira? With a jerk like that? Oh, we were shocked. Why? Okay. Well, you know my resume, <laughs> so I can't say nothing. All right, y'all. Um, thank you for joining us today. I'm so glad we have more than four people. Um, Danielle and Riri, you guys weren't here for the last class. We'll go over that. Um, just a quick note before we jump into things. Background, y'all. Background. Um, when we have these classes, I need y'all to like, there's no distractions going on. I mean, Kiri in a car, I don't know where you at. Danielle, you on the couch, behind the couch, on the side of the couch, you are the couch. I don't know. Riri, you over there making shrimps, playing with your nails. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Princess, it looked like you washing dishes, but it's not. Um, Zaire, you're fine for right now. It's just, I, I'm assuming you're on your phone, so I guess that works. I, I'm not that distracted, but just keep that in mind before we- uh, Excuse me, what about your curtains? That's oh, distracting. These? Oh, listen, so, I'm going to be, I'm stopping the video, so you won't even see that. So that's irrelevant. Nice try, though. Um... It do kind of like you like in your home, but every room, but you know that's cool. Anyway, so picking back off of last week, working on vulnerability. Um, so what I had my students do that were here: Kira, Princess, and Zaire, um, Riri, and Danielle. I had them pick a favorite character from a TV show, from a movie, from a storybook, whatever the case may be, and they were in character as the this character that they they picked, and they told me about their last relationship. And so right now what I'm going to have them do, I'm going to I'm going to have them talk about their day in character. Once they're done, y'all pick up. I'll ask y'all which character you picked, whatever the case may be. And y'all just go from there. Um, super short, super sweet. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns before we get started? First, I just want to say, don't try me because I wasn't here last time. I was on set, okay, booked and blessed. It might have been background, but booked and blessed. Okay. Hey, you that, working, that's, baby? You that's working. not really booked. You're doing background, sure. Um, so we're gonna start off with Princess, then Zaire, then Kira, and then once they're done, Riri, I'll have you tell your character, Danielle, and then we'll discuss it. Super short, super sweet. Everyone ready? Last question, comments, returns before we get started. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Um, princess, you're up. One, two, three, go. Um, okay, so I my day started with a date. Okay, well, I actually, I had three dates, but so the first date um, was not great. He was a little broke uh, and a little small. Okay. Um, the second date, um, he had more coins. Yes, um, he was a little too big. Do that, you know what I mean? Um, and then the third day, that was a little impromptu date. Um, he was just right, okay, just right. Nice, Sire. Oh, you know, uh, I was Batman, you know, Batman be saving the day, so I took the time out of my day. I just was saving the day to day. Uh, I got a puppy, he was having a stomach ache, gave him a puppy child, Pfft, better day. My mama called me, people messing up around there by the house. You know, I made her day better through a little jokes, better day. Crackhead down the street, all in the trash camps. Here you go, $10, better day. Neighbor knocked on my door. Got some brown sugar? I do. Huh. Better day. You feel me? So that's what I was doing today. Cool. Kira? Well, I was spending the day relaxing. Then my best friend uh, hooked me up. And we were going to go on an adventure. Turns out that adventure didn't go out so well. We got in a little bit of trouble, and I had to save our next today and take charge. That was my day. Cool. Thank you. Um, so, Riri, Danielle, do y'all y'all get it? You need me to explain again? I don't I don't know if you follow and picking up. And yes, I just want to clarify that we are talking about our day through the voices and, and cadence and, and energy of our characters, correct? Right. Like, yeah. yeah, I just said that. Okay. You're in character. I mean, that, that's cute. That's fine that you just said that. I was just clarifying because everybody didn't do that. So Again, I just wanted to make sure in that character. Everybody and I we're doing the same thing. Okay? All right, Thanks. in character. Uh, Riri, you're up. Do you have any questions before you go or co comments, concerns? Oh, that's okay. Huh. All right. So 
please tell me your character and um, how was your day? One, two, three, go. So I chose uh, Raven Baxter from That's So Raven. Um, let's see, today I worked out and you know I don't really work out. So you know, I was huffing and puffing. It was a lot. It was a lot going on. Then I went to the grocery store. Um, and then I had a vision that I was going to be hungry, which is why I had these shrimp here. Okay, you know, got to stay ready. So mm -hmm, that's how my day was. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, Danielle, you ready? Yeah. Um... So mine is Kim from the Parkers. So I went and got my hair did whenever you see my baby here. <laughs> and then, you know, I talked to my best friend, Hey Princess. And then I came to this class and, you know, you being a real mean or whatever. So I might not come next time. That was oh. dope. That was so. That's what you talk about when you like. That's, talk like that's what he meant when he said to do. Yeah, that's that. What I said. that was. In I wouldn't have got that. If, you need to stop talking, Mister Man. I wouldn't have got that if you kept talking. You feel me, Danielle? Well, you, you could just leave the class if you really want to. Just saying. I, I mean, you really could. I paid you. I paid you. I can't. I paid you. I mean, you I could you. really so just you, leave you the class. Just keep teaching me. You could just keep teaching me. That's what I paid you to do. Oh, that's, no that's, what, I thought, that's what I thought you exactly. said. Exactly. That's oh, what okay. I thought you said. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's the connection, the Wi-Fi, something going no, on. No, I said you work for me. That's what I said. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Can we work? Thank you. 